Hi, this is Lisa, the director of culinary media for Home Run Products and Eurocast. Welcome to the best dish in Eurocast, where we get to explore great food and recipe secrets of exciting chefs and home cooks. This time, we continue to prepare a dish by Iron Chef winner Patrick McKee, who owns the restaurant Estes at Dame in Portland, Oregon. I had the chance to eat this delicious Spanish-inspired seafood dish at Estes. When I had it there, I couldn't wait to join Chef McKee in his Portland home to cook it with him. Let's get back to his kitchen. Last time we watched Chef McKee warm through a tomato, garlic, and saffron stew while pan frying spot prawns and opening up clams in white wine and olive oil. Spot prawns live from Baja, California, all the way up to Alaska. It's one of the best shrimp anywhere in the world and really easy to find here in Portland, Oregon. Bringing together the stew and clams, Chef McKee adds compound butter with a citrus flavor to brighten the stew's Spanish paprika and balance the clam's brine. The compound butter is slipped in with the clams at the very end. This is how Chef Patrick served this beautiful dish. Into a wide, shallow bowl, spoon the open clams and the broth. Now Patrick gave these exotic spot prawns a quick cleaning and deveining, but he left on the heads and the tails for, you know, glamour and drama. Once cleaned, a screaming hot Eurocast pan and two minutes on each side will get them cooked perfectly. These go directly into the bowl with the clams. Yeah, so you see how we're doing mm -hmm. here. Now the critical step, the compound butter. Give each piping hot bowl a good tablespoon or more right on top and let it find its way through that tangle of stew. Lastly, a pan-grilled country slice of bread. It's crunchy, it's toothsome, and toasted just enough to get up all those juices. Gotta have some bread though. Yeah, you do. This is a dish I won't soon forget. And now, more insider stories from Chef Patrick McKee. Uh, Vitaly Paley, I worked for for 10 years at Paley's Place here in Portland, Oregon. I started there as a uh, line cook. I found out through a friend that he was looking for somebody to join his kitchen team. I had heard only just in rumor that his kitchen was tough. Mm. And tough being, you had to know your stuff. And that the cooks who were in there were so good that they could leave, like the line cooks could leave and go get oh, sous chef okay. jobs in wow. other, other kitchens. Yeah. Cool. And when I entered the kitchen there, I found that that was absolutely true. He became and he is my, my mentor. Uh, spent 10 years with him. Amazing. And it was the, the dedication to wanting to stick with somebody who was teaching. And he's a, he's mm -hmm. a fantastic teacher, you know, he's a master at what he does. Learning things like layering the flips, learning your technique. Right. Making, taking pride in those small life cuts. Right. All of those things you know, uh, are super important. He's French trained. He, you know, so it's like he taught, I didn't go to culinary school. Right, right. So, right. so you learned in That was my, that was my study time. Right. Now it's time to present and photograph this delicious recipe. Parsley and lemon and orange zest. Yum. 